Hello everyone, today we're going to be connecting to our Lanner 7525 router using the supplied console cable and a USB to serial adapter. The uh, console cable looks like this, one end looks like an ethernet cable, plugs into the console port here and the other end we're going to plug in the uh, USB to serial adapter and it plugs in like this and the USB end plugs into a computer if we expand the uh, port settings here we can see what uh, this device is seen at it's a prolific USB to serial comp port 3 so we're going to need this little bit of information to configure uh, putty which you're going to download in a second here so this is the site I'm used to going to. I'm not sure about the uh, previous site that comes up first in Google, but um, that's not where I usually download Putty from. So I'm gonna download the 64-bit um, version. I only need the EXC, so I'm just gonna select it from here. I'm just going to paste it on the desktop here and uh, I'm going to run it and what we actually have to do is configure here the uh, serial port setting so we saw there was COM port 3 so we changed that to 3 and I know this from previous configurations that it's the 115200 data bit stays at 8 uh, stop bits at 1 uh, parity none and flow control none and let's go back to session here and switch it to serial and I'm going to call this manner 7525 25 and save it so now when uh, I open this next time it shows it here all I have to do is click load and open so we can see that you we can actually see the uh, the PF sense console screen so that means everything's working here and we can see that it actually detects the uh, power button and starts shutting down properly. So it doesn't automatically just turn off. It sends a signal to the software and it's properly shutting down. Okay, so it's off now. I'm gonna turn it back on again. And this time I'm gonna hit escape uh, when this starts up so we could go into the BIOS here. So we can see that this has a American Megatrends BIOS here with the version number total memory 4 gigs DDR3 and options to um, set the, uh, the date and time here. Let's move over to the advance. Uh, Okay, so we can see that uh, we can see the health status here. It tells us the uh, temperature and the uh, voltage of the CPU. Let's move on. So the console redirection is enabled. That's how this works with the uh, console port cable. If we disable that, we won't have access. Let's see if there's more settings. So some USB settings we can configure. All right. 
we could set the number of cores. Let's just leave it to all. Security, you could assign a, a boot up password to this just like uh, you would in a notebook or your desktop computer. And here's where we got the uh, boot up option. So right now it's set to compact flash, but if we install anything else, we can uh, change this and it'll boot off that device. And uh, I think that's it for uh, most of the options here. Now, what I didn't see was anything to enable sounds or change the way sounds work because the um, the PF Sense tune still doesn't work uh, with this. I've num I've tried a number of things, including uh, going into the uh, the settings in PF Sense. Which uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so this has fully booted and uh, we still don't hear anything. Just just to prove that this actually works on other devices, I have a PC Engines router which I'm going to bring forward here. Alright, so the uh, first router didn't uh, didn't make the sound, uh, but the uh, the other router, which is exactly the same, didn't make it. So it may be that I haven't configured that one. I'm not quite sure why, but that, that's the tune we should hear from the, uh, the Lanner router as well. And it just doesn't seem to happen. So I, I've checked all the, uh, the settings. So there's nothing in the, um, in the boss that I can change. And uh, the settings in PF sense, they look fine. All right, let's go into system, advanced, and under notifications. And we scroll all the way to the bottom. So there's an option to disable the uh, startup shutdown beeps. And that, that's the little tune you hear. And um, it doesn't work whether uh, you toggle this off or on and save it and restart again it, it doesn't have any effect uh, on the lanner device now the other thing that didn't seem to uh, also work with this is the uh, the reset button so there's a reset button in the back here and uh, no matter how long i hold it for nothing seems to happen so there may be a jump or additional settings that need to be uh, done in order to make that work. I've tried holding it down as long as 30 seconds and uh, nothing really happens. So I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, I'm going to do another video to do a few more things on that are specific to this device. Uh, I think one of them will be to use the additional ports here as a, as a switch so normally this comes uh, pre-configured with the all these small business routers to work that way but not PF sense uh, so but it's an easy thing to do so I'll cover that in another video